PowerPoint and we'd like to create a shape, but this shape we don't want to have um, part of it in there. So let's take a look. I'm just going to start with adding some shapes. So I'm just going to add a square. And then if I click out, I'm going to insert a shape again. And this one, I'm going to add a circle. Real cheat is to get a perfect shape. When you select the shape in PowerPoint, you just single click and it adds a perfect shape. And then when you're uh, when you put your mouse on the corner, you get two headed arrow, hold the shift key and it makes sure it stays a perfect shape. So now what I'd like to have is this rectangle with this circle taken out. To make it easier to see, I'm just going to change this shape. There you go. I'm just going to change the color so that you can see, look, they are two different. Which shape you select first makes a difference. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the square hold my shift key and select the circle. So I selected this first and then this. In shape format, so we have at the top, we have shape format. Yeah, we have um, different options and it's, it's normally in the different groups. And this one is, uh, because I've, I've resized my screen to show you in this format, you can see they've grouped it together into insert shapes, but it might be laid out in the insert shape section. You can see the shapes, but you have merge shapes at the bottom. And then you have quite a few here. You have subtract, intersect, etc. The one we're looking for is subtract. And it now has subtracted it. Now, if I undo that one, if I undo this, I select the circle first, hold the shift key on the keyboard, then select the rectangle. Now go into insert shapes, merge shapes and subtract. You can see it subtracted the square from the circle. That's it. So again, select the shape that you want to be the base to have to be finished with, then hold the shift and select the other shape or shapes insert shape, merge shapes, and then subtract.